Hey everyone, how are you all doing? It is the end of July, time for another garden tour. I feel like I just gave you a June garden tour and now suddenly it's end of July. Time is going really fast, isn't it? We had some very hot days this month due to a heat wave in Europe. Watering was just always not enough. Therefore, expect some casualties and also get ready to meet some of them who really enjoyed the heat. So now let me walk you through my garden. Few weeks back, I made this vertical planter. That is what you see on the left side. I'll make an explicit video on it, show it in detail over there. Let us start now with the edibles growing in this long planter. These are some strawberries making a lot of baby strawberry plants. It is time to chop them off. One of the highlights of this garden tour will be my tomatoes. They are growing in a bit of a shade and that is why they thrive the heat. I'll be planting all my tomatoes next year on this side of the garden. But just look at them, prettier than some flowers. I've been admiring them a lot lately. The zucchinis growing in containers are also doing very well. They are giving me one zucchini every 3 to 4 days that I have to come up with different recipes to cook them. In this container, I had transplanted a watermelon seedling but I think they dried up in the heat and I don't know if they'll make it. Moving on to my raised beds. Did I just say that the tomatoes are growing well? Well, not everyone. The tomatoes in this raised bed dried up in the heat. They had grown a lot of offshoots and I had to prune off a major portion. I don't know whether they'll revive. The basil is doing very well. I might dry a few of them to use them in winter. These are some nasturtiums. I also have an eggplant growing here. They were flowering but I did not hand pollinate them and the bees also could not find the flowers because they were in the shade of the tomatoes. So no fruits yet. I am still hopeful that they will produce more flowers. And here I have some marigolds and malabar spinach which has started to wine. Yeah, so overall not very happy with how my raised bed is doing. But let's see. Now let me show you the pride and joy, my square foot garden. I've been meaning to make a video on how this garden was created from scratch but I'm not getting any time to collect all the footages and edit the video but I promise it'll come in the next weeks so stay tuned for it. I just opened the netting for the brassica bed to show you what is going on in there. The highlight is of course the broccoli. The size of it is comparable to the ones you get from the supermarket, maybe bigger. It's just amazing. Beneath is a red cabbage which is struggling to get some sunlight after the broccoli took off. So I'll be harvesting the broccoli as soon as possible and remove the plant as such to give space for the others to grow. Here are some carrots growing. By the way, I harvested a few carrots growing in containers this month. Next to the carrot is a green or white kohlrabi. I've planted the next set of kohlrabis for a harvest hopefully next month. It has been such an easy to grow crop till now. There is one more red cabbage growing here. Also there are some cauliflowers at the back. Everything is just jam packed in there. I hope once I remove the broccoli they will get some space to grow. That's the update from my brassica bed. I love the different shades of green brassicas bring to the garden. Moving on to the next bed, the major difference that has happened to this bed is that I removed the huge red spinach plant and harvested all of its leaves. Let's check out what is going on in this bed now. Here is a holy basil or tulsi plant, I am planning to dry them as well. Next to it is a leggy lettuce, I didn't notice it was turning leggy as it was in the shade of its neighbouring plants, anyway I am continuously harvesting from them. Here is another highlight of the garden this month, which are the beetroots. High time to harvest them. So excited. Mm. 
Behind them are some flowers growing, marigolds, calendula and barrage, all edible flowers. On the other side, I had sown some lettuce this month. Actually, I can't take my eyes off the beetroots. Here they are from the other side. As I was saying, these are the lettuce which I sowed this month. They have already germinated. I had also sown some carrots over there. This is a bird's eye chili, already producing some chilies. Next to it are the bush beans, lot of beans to harvest already. I have one more chili plant growing over here and behind it is an okra plant. They are also producing flowers. Moving on to the next bed, I had called this bed slow growing in June garden tour but not anymore. They are a bunch of heat lovers and the heat wave really accelerated their growth. Here I have some chilies, red pepper, actually it has started to produce fruits. Big okra, its leaves has got some infestation, I just saw it while taking this video, I have to treat them soon. Here I have some more chilies growing, by now you must have guessed my love for spicy food. Close to the wall, I have kept these wooden pallets as trellis for the vining plants. Here are some purple beans. They are producing flowers but no beans yet. So pretty. Below is a bitter gourd plant. Next are some yard long beans already producing some very long beans. I have one more bitter gourd growing here. In this free gap, I have sown the next batch of beetroot. Here is a marigold and some spinach have also been sown. In the next bed are some cucumbers growing. They already have powdery mildew infestation, but I'll keep them until they stop producing. Next to it is a patty pan squash. Another highlight of this month, this one has exploded. It is an interesting shaped vegetable. In front of them are again some marigolds, nasturtiums and cosmos. You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all I just love how my garden is taking shape and also producing really well which is honestly very motivating to sow and plant again. Those were the highlights from my July garden. Hope you enjoyed this video. And share with me one highlight from your garden this month. I'm really interested to know. I'll see you in the next. Bye and take care.
to share.